exchange between individuals. And you know, the way information is exchanged, that is quite systematic. Systematic in the sense it is a common system of some established symbols, some established signs, and some understood behavior as well. Signs and symbols are quite established. Established in the sense we are well familiar with. And we also discuss about the quality of communication. If you can uh, just see this figure, yes. If you can just see this figure, here you can find many aspects as we discussed yesterday as well. So the things in the corner, the things at the top, aspects at the top, they can make your communication rich enough. They can make your communication more effective than that of this one here, if you can see. Now it says, you know, low richness, for example, it's a video, it's the memos and letters, it is the email, it is the voicemail, right? They do not make communication as much effective as it can be in case of this one, right? In case of face to face communication, in case of live speeches, in case of video conference, and in case of telephonic communication, right? These are the most effective sources of communication than the ones that are in the low richness, right? And now let's move. Why effective communication? Do you really think that there is the need of effective communication, that communication has to be effective? Or there must be communication? One must communicate. Do you really think that that communication has to be effective in order to deliver the message? In order to deliver what you want to? Or what you intend to? Do you really think so? Yes, sir. Yes, how do you think? Sir, uh, good communication skills always needs a clear message. That is all mm -hmm. what you can share. And uh, it ne it always requires some rules. And uh, that rules are just about how you are how you are delivering your message and how clear your message so that so that you can uh, get your message understood what the other person is saying. Yes, you're right. See, it says effective communication helps us better understand a person or a situation. So yesterday I also argued it is not the effective communication, but it is you. It is you who can make the communication effective. Uh, if you know the tricks of the trade, if you are well aware, or if you're a technical person, you know the principles of communication, and then you can make your communication effective. If communication is effective, 